again guys Rabbi Yukwan Kwaso accused of being an Igbo man more revelations surface as this will shock you this one don't they make people they talk left right and center and I know say this one not be the first time they don't talk this matter come out say this man na Igbo man he be. okay make we just hit the news and get the full details but before then, guys, if today is your first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the political landscape. I beg, share this video, subscribe if you have not, like this, like us as well. The national leader of New Nigerian People's Party, Rabi Musa Kwankwasu, is immersed in identity crisis following the wide report that his father's name is Felix. Rabiu Okonkwo from the Southeast. It was further alleged uh, that his father migrated from Igbo land to the north and set up his life in Kano State before the former governor was born. Rabiu Abati, Ruben Abati, sorry, a Rise TV journalist, triggered more reactions to this after he asked the former governor to speak about the allegations but he later gave a shady response. A sociopolitical commentator further alleged that most Kano indigenous known Kwankwaso as an Igbo man. His grandfather migrated from the east to the north. He said so one, uh, so one time he was addressed to the Igbo Union in Kano. Most Kano, most Kano big guys are not Kano indigenous. Okay, like Isiaku Rabiu, a popular billionaire, is from Anocha and Ugocha Edo State. The interview. Meanwhile, in another story, Juan Kwaso yesterday spoke about the country's security challenge. He said the military can end the current security challenges facing the country, given the necessary motivation. Kwanu Kwaso, a former Minister of Defense, stated this when he spoke with newsmen shortly after the NNPP National Executive Committee meeting in Abuja on Friday. Meanwhile, talking about Kwanu Kwaso, uh, an Igbo man, these have generated reactions from Nigerians. As the first person I have here said, are they not part of Israel again? Once they said Obasanjo is an Igbo man. And later they said uh, IBB is an Igbo man, but they insult their fellow Igbo people to the fullest from the like of uh, UBA and many more. These Igbo people, with their, with, their, with their story every time, trying to claim everything. When they see an equivalent fine man, they will claim Stupid people thinking that is the, this is the only sunny. Is it an offense to be an Igbo man? Someone asked. Which one is correct? Some say his grandfather comes from uh, offer as a, a railway worker. Now you are saying he is an Igbo man. Okay. The idiotic betrayer minister of the FCT said he is not an Igbo man. Truly is Activist shows he is from uh, here, like Satan. He is now people are, are jostling to identify with the precious blood of Indigo. Shame on you. Hmm. Some of these prodigal sons of Odudua were fathered by the Igbos. They would prefer to cohabit with the Igbos from the east than live with the murderous uh, tenderness of the Jagawit, not when you hear them glamouring for Odudua Republic, they all know that the zone is a scam. Igbo simply means the ancient people in the Igbo. If, as alleged, that his father migrated from the east over a hundred years, it could be possible because nobody was a Nigerian before the amalgamation. He can change his name from Okonkwa to Kwan Kwasu for political reasons. That is understandable. The great ancient people cannot be caged in a 
a journey uh, con contraction that is completely fraudulent in its entirety. He cannot muzzle the, the bull that daring the con. Okay, I can't get that. So, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians as this report has once again show up again, saying that Rabbi Kwanukwaso, you know, is an Igbo man. The leader of the new Nigerian People's Party, Rabbi Musa Kwanukwaso, is immersed in identity crisis following the widespread that his father's name is Felix Rabbi Okonkwa from the southeast region of the, of the country. It was further alleged uh, that his father migrated from Igbo land to the north and set up his life in Kano State before the former governor was even born. So Ruben Abati, a Rice TV journalist, triggered more reactions to this after he asked the former governor to speak about the allegations, but he later gave a shady response. Whether you be Igbo man, no, you be Yoruba man, no, you be Aousa man, no, hmm, anywhere you come from. And you still did this Nigeria. We be one. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If you're just joining us for the first time, please subscribe, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you for stopping by.